Derek Mason stepped down as defensive coordinator at Auburn. They promote Jeff Schmetting, who is the linebackers coach and the associate head coach. He was the DC at Boise State under Brian Harson. So now Brian Harson, of course, has uh, replaced both coordinators after his first season at Auburn. It, it's it's strange to see. Now I, I tweeted this out, you know, the other day when when everybody was talking about Mason to Oklahoma State, which is not done yet, by the way. I would imagine it does get done, but this is such a weird, weird thing that he has replaced four coaches in the off season. And when you go six and six in Auburn, and that's something that ends up happening, regardless of whether the starting quarterback got hurt or not, et cetera. But the starting quarterback did leave Auburn, and this thing is starting to look kind of iffy on whether or not Derek Mason will even get a third seat. Not Derek Mason, excuse me, Brian Harson will get a third season at Auburn. Uh, this is, it is the worst thing that could have happened to Auburn not going six and six, but having their two biggest rivals play in the national title game this year. No, I don't think that has anything to do with this. I, you know, Auburn's just in rebuild mode and we knew that when they hired Harsons, like we didn't expect them to be as good as they were going six and six. Like, I think they ended up with the record they probably deserve, Yeah, but I didn't see them getting there that way. You Agreed. Know? Agreed. So. Uh, but I also didn't know Arkansas was going to be as good as they are. I mean, like, I, you know, I just didn't I didn't see them beating the teams they beat him, but then losing the teams they lost. But but at the end of the day, I kind of thought six to six seems right. That's fine. Um, I wish I wish he would have stepped down or I'd have known that he was available much sooner uh, because <laughs> there's a there's a road down in Baton Rouge that was that was looking for a D.C. not too long ago. Yes. So, yes. Um, well, I and, think a lot of Brian places. Kelly, Brian Kelly has done an amazing job at re, you know, hiring, and that's fine. But Mason was on everybody's wish list last year. <laughs> no, so. you're you're not wrong about that. He, uh, Mason was, uh, he would have been even more uh, highly sought after uh, than than he is currently. I, I think you know the Oklahoma State job, if he gets it, is going to be a good fit. He's going to do well there. He does well everywhere he goes. Like he's he's always been a great defense coordinator when he was at Stanford, uh, at Ver, at Vanderbilt up until the last like two seasons he had great defenses like that was what kept them in most games. Uh, but this is you know all the stuff that's coming out now. Obviously, the the rats leaving the ship and they have started to put out their information about uh, you know these coaches didn't get along with Harson and and then Harson's bunch is telling everybody well yeah we were forced to hire these people and blah blah and it's just it is not going well in one calendar year since they uh, since they hired Brian Harson, So we will see what ends up happening. I, I will tell you, uh, me bringing up Alabama and Georgia both playing in the national title game, uh, when you look at, you know, because the uh, Josh Pate has brought this up multiple times on late kick. Auburn boosters give the same money that Alabama and Georgia boosters give. Like, it's not like they're being outbid and stuff like that. It is, that football program is not running at the same level. So it is, you know, things are things are changing uh, rapidly around them. And now Auburn, I mean, you've got to play Brian Kelly at LSU every year. you got to play Jimbo at Texas A&M and what they're doing in recruiting. you got Georgia on the schedule every year. you got Bama on the schedule. I mean, it's, it's getting a little more difficult, uh, their road to being able to come back and, and be a successful program. So if you don't yeah, hire I've correctly. Seen these things, I've seen these things turn around quickly. Oh yeah. So like at some point in time, we'll realize if Brian Harson's the guy or not. If he's not the guy, it'll it'll poke its head up pretty fast. Oh yeah. They'll make a change really quickly. Everybody will crush them. Oh, you fire people so fast. Oh, but no, it's all unstable. It's because they don't have the right guy. So and when they when they, eventually they'll hire the right guy, and then he'll beat Tommy Tupper. He'll sit there for eleven years. So will be fine. Yeah, no, I, I don't think you're wrong. I don't think you're wrong. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.